tell what's you up? what. What's up, you guys? Welcome to the channel. We're sick. Very sick. Yes, I know some of you are going to comment and say, why are you even doing a YouTube video if you're sick? Because we're workaholics. And we're doing it for you guys, That's man. what everybody knows, man. We're workers. Big dude. time. If anybody knows that Tools in Action, if we're out on the job site, we're the last ones to leave. First ones there is the last ones to leave. Yeah. 15 hours, 16 hours a day. To steal all this, the tools. Yeah, right, no, exactly. Kidding. You guys, we went over this before. This is the, what is the sight light? Milwaukee radius light. It's the mm. one key light. You've probably seen we did the other radius light. The difference with this, one key. Well, what's one key? Right. It's, uh, the one key is their Bluetooth to it, you guys. I don't know why they call it one key, but this is really when one key kind of shows off its power. Because it shines. Wow, Eric, You like man. that? Look at wow. that, guys. I got to remember that because that's what I'm going to put as the video. You know the beginning of the video where it oh, says yeah. I put my funny things up there? Yeah. Which other uh, tool blogs are starting to copy now, but we're the original. You guys remember that? Those we're guys. the original, like Coke. Coca-Cola. The, the new Coke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Coca-Cola. <laughs> you guys, so, sight light. Why would we want this to be Bluetooth? Well, because if it's hanging up high, we could turn it on, we could do directional, and we were talking to someone at Milwaukee when we were at Stafta, actually Paul Fry, who is the, uh, like, the main man yep. of, like, He's like the electronics genius over there. The but, Anthony Rizzo lookalike. Yeah. Should I put a picture up? I'll put a picture up. <laughs> yeah. Should I? Um, but we were talking to him, you guys, and he said that a lot of uh, one key is really good for is theft. Mm -hmm. Because people will steal your tool, then get it, and then they'll try to connect to one key, and all of a sudden, boom, it's on the radar again and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, one key is really in its infancy, you guys. There's just tons of stuff that's happening with it. Obviously, if you go buy a drill right now that's one key, you might not be into it, you know? Yeah, it's not for but, everybody, but a lot of people get used to it. Yeah, and as it. time goes on, it's all software and firmware, you know? Mm -hmm. It could be updated. So you can buy, like, this Gen 1 one key, and they're going to be able to upgrade it with the via the software and stuff like that. Another thing I do like about one key is it's really easy to connect. Basically, yes. you open up the app. I got a new iPhone 7 Plus, and it just crashes. I don't know why, but it's been crashing with a lot of apps, so we had to use the iPad on this one. But basically, as soon as you turn it on, I mean, this thing will find all the one key things that are plugged in in here. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, but I like that. I wonder, does that, do you think that drains the battery prematurely? Because they're always I wouldn't think you'd use that much battery out of it, I, I wouldn't know. think. Um, what, what do I know? So, you don't know nothing. Yep. We don't, Especially English like you. We don't know anything. <laughs> you guys, so, here, what, this needs to be... Whoosh, whoosh. Why don't you be my, no. Um, so basically here we've connected to the light. We're gonna go over to tool controls now. And now it's gonna connect to the light. Okay, we got a full battery, which is great. I, we're gonna go ahead and hit the on button and then obviously the light turns on. It's quick, you know, there's not yeah. much of a delay. We're gonna go to the left side. So basically I'll turn it over if you're looking that way. Left, okay, so that should be on your left. This should be on your right. And that should be the 360 of it. Mm -hmm. We can also set, whoa, dude, that was on low. One thing about this, you guys, is it really is bright. It's a very bright light. We can have it stay on for 30 minutes. We can have it pause. Um, what does unit alert mean, Eric? We'll have it on for 30 minutes. So what's cool about that is, let's say you're leaving a job site or there's an area that, hey, I know there's people gonna be in and they need light in there. Boom, it could do that. You know what this thing definitely needs that I just thought of? Motion. Mm. How cool would that be to just have a motion sensor? Obviously, that would bring the price up. This is kind yeah. of a pricey light. Yeah, it runs about three fifty. dollars Yeah. Um, you know, if you're the guy that's going to tape or mud and you just need a light to throw around, it's obviously not the light for you. If you're the guy that, you know, can use all this 360 stuff, like I was telling Eric, like if you got six of these, how many can you do in a row? Ten? ten. So you can have ten of these in a row. Man, that's three grand worth of lights. But anyways, on the job site, I mean... That's not bad, really, when you think about it. Mm -hmm. Three grand for lighting. Oh, I'm so impressed with your math. Well, well thanks, man. Yeah, I really like that. <laughs> no, I'm serious, though, dude. Yeah. Because, you know, you get a, a union electrician on overtime, man. It'll burn up three grand in, like, three days. Try three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm just... no. Um, you guys, so, basically, you know, you can walk into the area, boom, turn on the lights, which is cool. Um, what were we talking about? I was just about to say something, though. But if you're the guy that just wants the, the light to throw around, you're not going to use these features, obviously yeah. you can go ahead and get the regular sight light, or they have tons of other lights that you can get into. Now. Yeah, this one, just so you know, it's about 4,400 lumen. You can get it down to 1,000 lumen, IP54 rated, so obviously it's made for the job, so you can survive the day. Here's the thing that I noticed, though. This happened to me before. Look, I turned it off, and it's still on. So I have to go back, tool controls. It has to, like, reconnect. Okay, so it's on. Let's go off. It won't even turn off now, Eric. Can you turn it off? 
So you guys, it's your obviously, iPad, dude. no. What are you doing? One key in the Closing it out and opening it back up. So look at there's all my tools. Wow, that's so cool. And I can do inventory on those tools, which is very cool. So Milwaukee knows that I own those tools. So if one of these tools walks, it shows back up. If you go to tool controls, I'll turn it off. Okay. Yeah, I think so it's yeah, just more that. There's just a little connection issue. I mean, not a big deal. I still think out of all the apps out there for tools, this is probably the best one. Don't you think? I mean, DeWalt's got a light coming out, you guys. They got their oh, Bluetooth in Oh, you're saying in terms of lighting? Or is what, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I think one key is the best Bluetooth out there for tools. I mean, it has the best potential. Well, yeah, you got a lot of different things on there you can control. You can manage, like, different profiles. You can do, you can manage your tools, do inventory and location, like you are saying. You know? Yeah, they're crimpers, you guys. You can set, you know, at the end of the day, it'll give you a report on how many crimps were done, the pressure of the what crimp. What pressure and everything like that. And it's a report you can print out and show, hey, look at, you know, here's what I did. So, yeah. I think it's cool. It's got the old in and out, the in and the out. Do you happen to have a nine amp hour battery? Um, yeah, I, I, I know you do. It's, it's, you know what? I think it's right inside the door there. Yeah. So, Eric got my nine amp hour, amp hour battery. Yep. Yeah. So, the nine will fit in there. Yeah, and you know, this is obviously, you guys, I'm not sure of runtime. Everybody asks runtime. I mean, there's like a million different runtimes with this, depending on the capacity of the battery, depending on what setting you have it on, all that stuff. So, you're going to get good runtime with the 9.0. And if you guys have the old. I know they call it the rocket tower light or red rocket or whatever they call the it. The newer now. or the older one? Well, the newer one they call red rocket. Yes. The old one. What it's just the tower red light. Rocket, I think. It's a, no, not the older one. The new one's called red the, rocket. Oh no, maybe it's, it's not. Red yeah. Um, but the new one—that's the one that charges <laughs> the battery and stuff like that. The old one does not. And they offer a kit, a service kit for the old one, you guys, where you can, uh, they'll send you out a part. I don't know if you have to pay for it or not, but it will adapt it so you can put a 9.0 battery in it. And Pretty that's cool. another thing. Obviously, 9.0 battery is really good for high-end applications, real demanding power like their uh, miter saw and their STS. Mm -hmm. But you put throw it on a light, you got some massive runtime. You do. You know, but hey, throw this thing on a light, you got one expensive light. Exa well, exactly. And there's different ways with. you can mount it, too, so it's got the hanger on the bottom. Right, and so. that, that's the thing too, though. Like, it is an expensive light, it is an investment, but if someone walks off with it, the minute they connect it to that one key. Now, don't quote me, you guys, if you've had something stolen and stuff like that. I mean, they don't really, I don't think they advertise this, so I don't think that they're going to be like, you know, you call them and say, hey, what are you going to do? I don't know that they advertise mm -hmm. it, I just know that it's possible. So, very cool stuff. What do you guys think? At the bottom, the sight light, talk about it. That's what we want to do here on Tools in Action, and uh, man, we should give one away. We are. Luckily, if you guys are part of the Power Tool Forum, we are giving one away for the Power Tool Forum users. You guys get to decide who wins it. Go in there and vote. Very easy. Go over to toolsinaction.com. You can see the Power Tool. Head over there. And you can win one of these bad boys. I think it's pretty cool. It's a wow. nice light, man. And you guys, new TIA, TIA hats are coming soon. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you think. Tools in Action, hashtag TIA crew, Instagram, all that good stuff. Later. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.